Hello world, welcome to the 39th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comments. Um, if you get a chance, can you please leave a comment down below on how you found my channel? Was it Twitter? Was it recommended on YouTube? Was it from my Facebook? Either way, let me know because I want to um, you know, better serve my subscribers. So this is the second video in the Gmail API playlist. In the first video, we took the sample code from the Gmail API website. That's here. This is the quick start. And we simply copy and pasted it, just like it is, into our code. And all that does is print out the labels of what kind of information you can get. It's not very useful, so we edited the code and we asked um, ourselves how many email messages we wanted to see and then we printed just the body of each of them. So um, in this, so in, if, make sure you watch that first video if you're um, trying to implement this code because we made some changes and we're going to build on those changes in this video. So in this video, we are going to um, print out how many unread messages we have and then we're going to print who's it from and then the first 50 or so characters of the body of the message. So let's that run that now. All right, it says we have one unread message and would you like to see the message? Well, since we're recording, yes, we do. All right, it looks like I have a new message from Verizon Wireless and my payment is scheduled, so great. So I purposely chose just 50 uh, characters. Um, I tabbed it and um, just printed the first 50 characters because if I'm going to put this in my heads up display, I don't need the entire message, especially when people have all this like spam information at the bottom of it. So um, I'm glad I had one unread message because I didn't check before I started recording this. So um, let's check it now and let's clear out that one unread message. Okay, so now it is marked to red. Let's close my Gmail. And now let's run this again. Okay, I have no new messages. So there you go, it's pretty sweet. That's exactly what I would want. So let's go through the changes in the code. So nothing new up at the top. So I did include a global variable name message and you'll see why below. Okay, no changes all the way down here. This is all the same for video one. Alright, so we get down to this part right here where it says call the Gmail API and labels. We grade that out in the or we commented it out in the first video. And then right here, this get messages. So um, this is how you call the Gmail API. So results equals service.users.message.list. User ID equals me. That's, you know, me. We're checking in our inbox, and now this is the new code right here. So you want to add Q equals, which is query. You want to add the query, and then you type in the string is unread. So in my Gmail, in the inbox, I want you to query what is unread. So there you go. This is the new code from the last video. And then messages equals the results which is up here, dot get the messages, and then we add it to this array right here. In the previous code, um, when you copy and paste it from the quick start, you'll see this if not labels. We commented that out in the first video. I commented out me asking myself how many messages I want to see, because really that was just for you, the viewer. And then, so if there's no messages, right? If there's no messages from my Gmail, in my inbox that are unread, we print, you have no new messages. And you saw that down below. Then I want to count how many unread messages I want. 
So if there are messages, so that's what if not means, else, so that means there are messages, we're going to say there's zero message count, and then for every message in the messages, we are going to get this, we're going to get the message, and then we are going to increase the count by one. So message count equals zero, plus one equals one. And then we're going to print out you have whatever the message count is going to keep counting the messages. And then it says you have blank unread messages. All right. And then it says, would you like to see your messages? And then I made it lowercase, whatever I type in. And then I said, if that choice is yes or why, just in case I get lazy and I just type in why. Then we're going to create this variable called email data and store all the messages and the payload and the headers. So that's the information you get from the Gmail API. And for the values in email data, we're going to get the name of each one. So you can get the from, the subject, the to, the date. There are so many values you can get, but we just want the from. Then we're going to save the from name from this values print out you have a new message from the from name and then we're going to print the message snippet just the first 50 characters so blank colon 50 which means from the 0th all the way to the 50th character and then dot 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 and then we're going to um, create a line space for every new message so if there are um, if I click no, I don't want to see my new messages, it will just say goodbye. All right, pretty simple. So this won't make a lot of sense if you see this video and you haven't seen my first one. So I'm going to put the link to the first video in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what other functions you want to see. And then please consider subscribing because in the next video, video number 40, so not the next video in this playlist, but the next video on this channel, video number 40, will be doing another complete Shane update. So also like this video if you liked it. Thanks. Goodbye world.